All right, we're testing out the difference between iMovie and Final Cut Pro when it comes to working with Flip Video. Flip Video just imports into iMovie, quick edits, uh, YouTube stars like Michelle Fan use iMovie. You know, the professional, you know, wants to say that they use Final Cut. Let's see what program takes longer to actually work with video footage with by the time you import, render, export and prepare for YouTube. What program's better, iMovie or Final Cut Pro? Some people are really fast at m editing in iMovie and some people are really fast at editing in Final Cut. It just has to do with what you're familiar with. So, we did this uh, food review and at a restaurant so I've got about 10 clips flip ultra HD 720p video been about 7 minutes 29 seconds to import the footage in iMovie okay so I just finished my edit in iMovie now it's time to export so we're gonna go to share um, we got we can go to YouTube directly or we can export movie. Now, the biggest thing we can do is 960 by 540. So that's not quite the 720p that the footage originally was. Export. And go. Less than a minute. And now we're exporting movie. And we're done. So fall. All right, so let's start on Final Cut. Uh, we're going to import our footage by just dragging it onto the sequence. General error. Out of memory. Flip recently had a software update. It said, we're going to update the camera. So I said, okay. And now, none of the videos that it records works with Final Cut. I've got a bunch of clips here before the firmware update. I'm just going to drag them in. As you can see, we can edit with them. Recommendation is don't update your firmware just yet. The trick to working with flip footage on Final Cut, you just go one frame in, one frame out, because it doesn't like the first and last frame. Now put it on your timeline. You'll still get the red bar, but you won't get the general error. There was it was no time importing it, but if we're gonna fine tune that edit, we gotta render. Let's render what needs to be rendered, and we're going to time this. Ready? Alright, so our video is rendered in 58 seconds. Export, QuickTime Movie. So total time, 160. The test video, it's 720, 1280 by 720, you'll get the HD button on YouTube. It's 176 megabytes. You get the original iMovie project, 67 megabytes. In summary, Final Cut is much quicker to work with. It's about twice the size, but you will get the HD button on YouTube. There's a longer import and, and uh, render times in iMovie, but it just works. There's no tricks. You don't have to do little tricks here. It just works.